The Stranger A few months before I was born, my dad met a stranger who was new to our small Tennessee town. From the beginning, dad was fascinated with this enchanting newcomer and soon invited him to live with our family. The stranger was quickly accepted and was around to welcome me into the world a few months later. As I grew up, I never questioned his place in our family. Mom taught me to love the Word of God. Dad taught me to obey it. But the stranger was our storyteller. He could weave the most fascinating tales. Adventures and mysteries and comedies were daily conversations. We could hold our whole family spellbound for hours each evening. He was like a friend to the family. He took Dad, Bill, and me to our first Major League Baseball game. He was always encouraging us to see the movies and even made arrangements to introduce us to several movie stars. The stranger was an incessant talker. Dad didn't seem to mind, but sometimes Mom would quietly get up while the rest of us were enthralled with one of his stories of faraway places, and she'd go to her room to read her Bible and pray. I wonder now if she ever prayed that the stranger would leave. You see, my dad ruled over our household with certain moral convictions. But this stranger never felt an obligation to honor them. Profanity, for example, was not allowed in our house, not from us, from our friends or adults. Our longtime visitor, however, used occasional four-letter words that burned my ears and made Dad squirm. To my knowledge, the stranger was never confronted. My dad was a teetotaler who didn't permit alcohol in his home, not even for cooking. But the stranger felt he needed exposure and enlightened us to the other ways of life. He offered us beer and other alcoholic beverages often. He made cigarettes look tasty. Cigars? Manly. And pipes? Distinguished. He talked freely too much freely, about sex. His comments were sometimes blatant, sometimes suggestive, and genuinely embarrassing. I know now that my early concepts of this man-woman relationships were influenced by this stranger. As I look back, I believe it was the grace of God that the stranger did not influence us more. Time after time, he opposed the values of my parents, yet he was seldom rebuked and never asked to leave. More than 30 years have passed since the stranger moved in with the young family on Morningside Drive. But if I were to walk into my parents' den today, you would see him sitting over in the corner, waiting for someone to listen to him talk and watch him draw his pictures. His name? We just always called him TV. TV.